RB13 on track looks great. I think um, you know these new regulations are certainly visually a lot more attractive. I think uh, you know the design team and aero team have done a great job in producing a you know a super looking car. I think all the cars look you know better looking, and of course you've got a, a variance of interpretations to the new regulations. And it's interesting to see the different solutions that different teams have come up with. Um, you know, quite unique in, 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 in some instances. So, uh, you know, that's, that's quite fascinating. Uh, seeing the car was cool. I think the car looks, looks nice. Uh, to be honest, I think most of the cars look, look good. You know, visually, I think for a, for a fan, a, a racing enthusiast, they look wide and low and, and aggressive. Um, so that's cool. I got behind um, uh, one of the cars on the last run. So I got to follow and they look different on track as well. So uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, it, it won't take fans long to get used to this. Yeah, I mean, it looks a uh, good car. I mean, beautiful. Um, yeah, we haven't done much running uh, so far, but, you know, it's uh, early days, so I'm just building up to it. Well, at the end, to be honest, I don't really look too much to it. I just want it to be fast. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I quite like just the whole shaping of the car with the wide tires. It looks like an, uh, an aggressive car, and then with the painting and everything, yeah, it looks a very, uh, very beautiful car in general. A few issues we've uh, endured on track today, not major, but just niggling and annoying. So, uh, uh, you know, the, the engine guys have worked hard to, to get on top of them and hopefully we'll get back out and do a few more miles before the end of the day. The car was, uh, it felt all right on track. You know, we didn't obviously get really any running this morning, but this afternoon was, was more positive. I think we got around 50 laps and uh, considering I think in that time we, we learned quite a bit, you know, we got up to speed, you know, by the end. I think we, we understood the car already a bit better, so, yeah, that's testing. I mean, it's cold as well today, so you take what you can at testing, but uh, I think we know once once we go racing then it's a, another story again. Uh, so, yeah, this morning we had some, uh, some sensor stuff and the problem was that's deep inside, I guess, the back of the car, so everything had to come off and, and that was the main, main time consuming thing, but, uh, and then this afternoon we had another a few little things, uh, again more like connector kind of stuff. Um, it's more safety things, but again you have to go underneath and, and get everything, take the floor off, and it's more time consuming, I guess, than, than actually how big the problem is. But obviously playing it safe for the first day of testing. Well, obviously, you know, data, understand the aerodynamics, understand the mechanical side of the car, understand how the tires are interacting. So it's all about gathering that information and data and then analyzing it and utilizing it to uh, develop and progress the car. You can always gain data from the car. So, uh, of course, you know, hopefully the, we'll, we'll get some more serious running in over the, uh, the remaining seven days. Um, and. Uh, yeah, have a pretty good understanding of the car as we head to Melbourne. I think he's going to flat out from today all the way through to Abu Dhabi. It's, it's a development race and it's a matter of getting that information, analysing it, utilising it and uh, turning it into performance. You know, the car's not massively different. You know, I think in terms of technique and style, it's, you know, at the moment I'm driving pretty similar to, to what I was doing, you know, last year. So. You do feel the tyres, you know, they're, they're obviously wider and they give you a bit more grip in some areas, but I think the, the balance and the handling of the car is still pretty similar. I think you're curious to know if you still remember how to drive an F1 car, so it was cool. I felt like I, I got up to speed relatively quickly and um, yeah, it was fun. It was alright. Not bad. <laughs> 
yeah, of course, looking forward to tomorrow to, to find out myself, you know, how the car feels like. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait. We haven't done that many laps so far, so for sure tonight I'll speak a bit more with the engineers, but then I think mainly just, you know, getting in the car and just experience it yourself.